Right, well, it's going to get windy very shortly, so I've come through the field. There was a, I had to turn the camera off. There was a woman coming through, and I had a chat with her. She's from Weston. She organises rambles, and she's just been out from Burnham Way, though. Right, now this is... um. I've just seen Hinkley Point, the first view of Hinkley Point from here. Wait a minute, it'll get more pronounced as... Um, there's Hinkley Point, that. The famous Hinkley Point that's been given the go-ahead. Looks bigger than ever. That will get closer as I walk up the River Parrot. There's the Quantock Hills over there. Those hills in the distance, the Quantocks. Burnham's over that way. The wind seems quite... It's not that fierce and it's not a cold wind actually. I mean I've got my scarf, hat and gloves in my bag. Because I know how cold it can be when you're by the river. Not so much here. But when you get by the river, it can suddenly get really, really cold. So I've come from that way near the church, through over a couple of styles. And of course, people might think, God, you just do a lot of walking, but I have to do my no cow walking this time of year. And there's a lot of land to cover. And I've, I still don't know if the cows could be out. That's another reason for coming today, is to see. Because if there are cows out, I've got an alternative walk. I can walk towards Burnham in Highbridge instead, where I've got ways of uh, avoiding any cows along that part. I mean, this woman says she still walks through fields. I said to her, so did I for most of my life. <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a herd here that I saw a very poorly bull actually last year. It looked like his legs were broken. Um, he could hardly move. And uh, I had to re find someone in the village to tell them. There is a nice little style, look. Over a little stream. A little Somerset Brook. Because this is the West Huntsville around here. And the blossoms coming out, look. And I've got a good, now that it gets dark later, I've actually got like a good six, seven hours of walking if I wanted to. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm very spontaneous. That is why I've, um, I've started very, very late for me. Ah, look. Evidence of cow. Evidence of cow not long ago either. Look, that is fresh pack. More fresh pack. Where are they hiding then? God, look at that! Cow is out! Cow is out! I can't see them though. I can't see them. It's like I've got to go over by a gate over there. They must be further up the field, I spat. Yeah, there's a cow out. So it just shows you that they are putting the cows out then. Yes, look. Lots and lots of fresh pack. It's beautiful, this. Yeah, so I might have left it too late because they know the warm weather's coming. The farmers might say to themselves, well, let's put the cows out now. The grass is growing. We've had a mild winter. It's not too boggy. I might come back later. I don't know if I'll be coming back because exactly the same way. Uh, and the cows could all be around here and I won't come in this way. I'll go round. I'll go round instead. 
Oh, I've seen cows in here. They're normally all round here, sort of sitting round here and that. But there is a big field and they can wander all the way up there. In fact, I can... I thought I saw a cow then in the, in the field up there. So fortunately, they are up there. I think they come up this way when it's milking time for that farm over there. And it's quite likely they've got calves. It's early, isn't it? It's spring, isn't it? Anyone who studies cows will be interested in these videos and say, God, that woman's always going on about it. Yeah, it is a bit of an obsession, I must admit. It's a little bit of an obsession. I wonder if they put barbed wire over that fence again. Because you can get through a gate up there. But because the cows might just be the other side of that. There's no way I'm going to risk it, so if they put barbed wire by this gate, I'm going to have to try and just get over the wooden bit. Right then everyone, I'm going to turn off for now, because I can see cows moving about the other side of that hedge there. But they, uh, they are out, they, uh, the cows are out. Um, and I can see their hoof marks. Anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, they're definitely out, and they come, cows like gathering around a gate and all. Yeah, there's barbed wire around that gate. I'll have to climb over the fence. I don't blame the farmers, they don't want people leaving the gates open, you see. Their prize herd. Oh, there's Brent Knoll there, look, before I turn off. I'll just zoom in on Brent Knoll. What a lovely day it is. There's Brent Knoll there. I'll probably be having a trip up that this year. It's quite likely. I usually ch alternate which route I go up. And you can have cows up there and all. There's a church. Right, over and out.